Okay, Indy Car Garage fans, we're talking with uh, Dragon Racing Catherine Leg, and uh, to kick off the 2012 season, season um, you've got to be feeling a lot of excitement. Just talk about um, your thoughts on your first full-time season in the IZOD Indy Car Series. Kind of dampened down my nerves, right? Um, it's definitely a little bit of a challenge going into the first race because we've, uh, as a team, we're a little bit behind just through, you know, other reasons and not having had much testing. We've had less than a day in the car, both myself and Sebastian. So, um, so Pete is coming up fast and uh, excited, nervous, everything all mixed into one. It's like, a, yeah, it keeps me up. What can you do as a driver to make up for your lack of text testing time? I don't think you can, and I think one of the things that I've done in the past is maybe overdrive to try and overcompensate, and that just goes into all kinds of problems. <laughs> um, I have, you know, I've never raced at St. Pete, I've never raced at Barber, um, so I have been learning the tracks on the simulator, or our homemade simulator, um, and really just training and looking at data and doing what I can because I can't control all the other circumstances so it's better not to let them bother me or make me nervous and kind of kind of get my blinkers on and focus on the things that I can control and the rest will take care of itself you know? right how do you think your expectations will be for this season obviously um, you're probably going to be behind a little bit with the Lotus engines but how do you not press so much how do you keep your expectations within reason champion in Champion League four times, so I've got a good yardstick there. Um, then obviously comparing ourselves to the other Lotus drivers, and I think that this year is going to be key. We've got a really, really great team of people. Um, Jay has 110% committed to the project, and we've got some really awesome people who are very passionate and work very hard. I mean, they worked through the night to get the engine ready for Sebring, so that was a big deal for us. Um, I think that it will improve throughout the season, race by race. Um, might see two stop, steps forward, one step back kind of thing, but by the end of the year, we want to be towards a sharp end, and then going into next year, we want to be strong. Um, so I'm not expecting to go out there and, and be in the top five or six in the first race. Um, attrition is going to be key for us to learn. I think that we need to plot the laps in order to get the data that we need and, and kind of use the races as testing, if you like. And then, yeah, hopefully just keep improving. And as long as we're improving, we'll be happy. When you reach the plateau, I think that's when you've got to kind of kick in and, and work that extra bit harder. Not that we're not giving 110% at the moment, because we really are. But it's, it's, it's an exciting year for all of us. Your first oval will be the Indy 500, and you'll be a rookie at Indy this year. Um, what are you looking forward most to about the month of May here in Speedway? legendary you know it's one of those races when I was 10 years old and I watched Nigel Mansell do it on the television back in England I nearly said telly then <laughs> becoming Americanized um, so it's it's a race that kind of stirs emotion you know it's it makes me nervous already well I was nervous in February as soon as I knew I was doing IndyCar I was like I'm going to do the Indy 500 or try and qualify for the Indy 500 right. and so it's definitely the biggest race that I will have ever done in my entire career and that I'm looking forward to greatly. Uh, it's a lot of pressure, but it's just so exciting. I mean, how many people can say they've done the Indy 500? You know? That's very, very cool. And TrueCar have given me this opportunity, so I have to say a massive thank you to them for that. Because they've put together something really special with their Women Empowered initiative. You know, it's kind of groundbreaking. They're mm -hmm. kind of giving six of us the opportunity to succeed with given equal equipment and given the right funding in place and so it's a, it's going to be an awesome year and it's the year of the dragon and there's <laughs> so many other things that I've seen about so I'm super excited. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much. Yep.